Now, if you think that being overweight is caused by diet, then you are probably a racist conservative with no understanding of the nuances of history. A video went up on TikTok this week explaining that obesity in modern India is caused not by the food some Indians eat, but by the Dutch in East India Company visiting the country 400 years ago. It goes like this. I'm gonna prove to you why white people are the reason I'm fat today. If white people didn't go looking for spices, then various sea routes to Indian subcontinent and Africa and other places of the world would not get discovered. And if they didn't get discovered, then East India Company would never come to Indian subcontinent. And if they didn't come, then the fertility of the land would not get destroyed because they forced us to cultivate tobacco and dyes and opioid, things like that. And that destroyed the fertility of my country. Well, the history lesson continued. Western intervention caused famines, which led to a switch in India to grain-based foods, which led to the woman in the video being, quote, biologically programmed to hold on to more fat, unquote. The only thing she didn't blame is climate change, but maybe she was saving that for her next post, explaining why extreme weather events were constantly delaying her Uber Eats deliveries from McDonald's. Is it racist to say that she should stop blaming white people for her problems and start dealing with life's challenges like her ancestors did when the evil white people ruined their land and forced them to eat grains? The sad truth is that this woman might have adopted to a lazy Western diet, but she is not also sharing the prosperity that normally comes with it. Well, not as much as she could anyway. India's GDP per head of population in real terms has almost tripled since 1996, and its share of the world economy is expected to almost match the United States by 2030. By then, this young woman, who I'm guessing will still be in her early 30s, will either still be posting videos to TikTok from the hospital where she's being treated for diabetes, or will have become a nasty, fat-shaming conservative like you and me and be simply enjoying life instead.